musician and uh, a songwriter. An actor part-time, musician part-time, songwriter full-time. I'm from uh, Cornerbrook, Newfoundland, originally. When I first came here to the island, I met several people here who were quite good folk musicians at the time. Um, I learned uh, you know, uh, your basic little one, three, claw hammer guitar, modified guitar, picking styles and one thing and another, and uh, started to learn uh, stuff like you know Cat Stevens and things like that. And uh, I met a lot of people there who were who were good performers, you know, from right across Canada and, and uh, whatnot. They're you know there for the same reason as I was to go to school. And uh, I started uh, organizing coffee houses and whatnot. And uh, not so much for myself to play at, but to get them put off. And, uh, and uh, I did a few like that and uh, wound up with the uh, urge and the itch to try my own hand at it. And uh, it's, it uh, just sort of started steamrolling from there. Then. yourself to find yourself or so they tell me jesus said i gotta make one more connection so the confusion in my head everybody's got ideas about what's right and what is wrong is it gonna get them where they wanna go when they're gone I took a trip to the city to lose my mind back to the country had to draw the line I didn't find the city all that cold but the country made me feel so you gotta lose yourself to find yourself or so they tell me jesus said i gotta make one more connection so the confusion in my head everybody's got ideas about what's right and what is wrong is it gonna get them where they wanna go when they're gone? Simplicity's irrelevant, hinders my development, often make me blind. Get down, I think that drink is gonna elevate my thinking when I get pressed for time. Relaxation makes me tense, put me out of sync. Ideas overwhelm me and I don't know what to think. You gotta lose yourself to find yourself. Or so they tell me, Jesus said, I gotta make one more connection. So the confusion in my head. Everybody's got ideas about what's right and what is wrong. Is it gonna get them where they wanna go when they're gone? Do it, Chrissy. Simplicity's irrelevant, hinders my development, often make me blind. Get down and think that drinking's gonna elevate your thinking when you get pressed for time. Relaxation make me tense, put me out of sync. Ideas overwhelm me and I don't know what to think. You gotta lose yourself to find yourself. And so they tell me Jesus said, Gotta make one more connection, sort the confusion in my head. Everybody's got ideas about what's right and what is wrong. But is it gonna get them where they wanna go when they're gone? Tricky, eh? It's ASN's Great Adventure, your ticket to fun and excitement during the 15th anniversary of Walt Disney World Vacation Kingdom in Orlando, Florida. You could win one of six trips for two. Coca-Cola and Hostess Potato Chips invite you to pick up a ballot at your neighborhood shopper's drug mart or visit your local Blue Cross office. Fill out the entry form and send it along to ASN's Great Adventure, P.O. Box 9321, Station A, Halifax, Nova Scotia, B3K 5N5. Draws will be made weeknights during Wheel of Fortune on ASN. Winners will fly Halifax to Montreal courtesy Canadian Pacific Airlines with five flights every weekday to Montreal. 
Then on to Orlando with Delta Airlines. Fly Delta from Montreal to all the major resorts in Florida and to over 100 cities in the U.S. and overseas. Fly the best. Fly Delta. Winners will stay five days and four nights at the Picket Suite Resort in Walt Disney World Village. Complimentary meals, ground transportation, and Blue Cross travel insurance are included with each grand prize. Watch Wheel of Fortune weeknight for ASN's Great Adventure. I can't say that I was influenced by music when I was really young. Um, the first time I was, you know, in s school choirs and glee clubs and things like that when I was uh, in grade school and high school and whatnot. And I guess it was in junior high that I got, uh, um, <clears throat> it was around the time the Beatles put out Sgt. Pepper which was the first, uh, I'd heard Beatles music before that and whatnot, and I liked it and all this kind of thing, but uh, I guess the first time that I really, uh, uh, the first music I ever really heard that I really wanted to uh, uh, play or uh, delve into a little deeper was, uh, was uh, Sgt. Pepper, I think, was the first, the first thing. Back then, I was a trumpet player. I blew, uh, blew a horn for six years, and... Uh, Somewhere in the interim, I uh, took up drums and learned how to play drums for about a year and a half. Orchestra-type drums, not uh, rock and roll or anything like that. And uh, from there, uh, I picked up guitar just as sort of like a side instrument. I never really uh, got into that instrument or started to learn how to play it or what it was all about until I was about uh, 17, 18, around there. I dumped a ton of fish today Cause I couldn't find a man to pay me What my work was worth Got four young kids and a worried wife Day to day she fights with life And I'm sure there's time she's wishing She was six feet neath the earth Oh, 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 oh. Young brother John, he drowned last year Mother never shed a tear, her eyes were all dried up, you see, she's already put three in the ground. Oh, 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 oh. The government don't understand, my blood's as red as any man, and the yearly winter handouts don't buy much more than time. Every morning, sun I face, I realize it's time I race. The bank might own my boat, my home, but buddy, I'm not blind. Young men fill the pub on Saturday night Out to drink and out to fight And nothing much matters save getting caught Drunk behind the wheel The future's out there somewhere They've all looked to the sea And felt that feeling just before the dawn When nothing touched feels real Oh, 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 oh. The sea has claimed a thousand lives And every mother's son one day will ride A tide that never lets a body go I'll be no tourism convenience Lacking nothing but respect I'd rather go down with my father's boat Standing tall upon her deck Oh, 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 oh. I dumped a ton of fish today Cause I couldn't find a man to pay me What my work was worth I worked with a, a troupe called the Periwinkle Puppets 
It was a, a branch of the Island Puppets and Players, which is a periwinkle puppet company. And uh, we did a, a puppet show that toured the elementary schools. And that was, that was just one of the best experiences I could have had as a, as a, as a beginning theatrical experience because I got to, I was clowning. <clears throat> and uh, it was probably the most uninhibiting type of character to portray as a clown or to be as a clown because you get to wear makeup you get to hide behind your makeup you get to hide behind all these daffy clothes and, and uh, you know just generally kid around and it leaves a lot of room for ad lib the, ne the next thing I did was adult theater it was uh, in Georgetown in the old uh, in the old King's Playhouse before it burnt down in 1979 we did uh, three plays there. We did Neil Simon's Odd Couple, we did uh, Dracula, and we did uh, a play uh, called Bon Voyage uh, by the uh, producer at the time, Alan Billard, who's now, I think, working with uh, the Fisher people over in New Brunswick or Nova Scotia. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I keep forgetting the guy switches around so much. You know. um, and all through, all through this time, I was doing like bars, local bars, that type of thing, you know, and the uh, three or four bands fired in there somewhere along the line. Gonna go to T.O., see what they got to show me. Everybody says I need a year in the city, oh baby, won't you come for the ride? Gonna buy me an old Chevrolet Cause everybody tells me that's the way to go Won't you come for the ride? It's such a long way down It's such a long way down it's such a long way down Sixty miles an hour down the 401. Mm -hmm. Me and my baby just are looking for some fun. Cause it's such a long way down. It's such a long way down. Such a long way down. your fame, I just want your fortune, don't want to be a star, glitter gives me the jitters, I'm just in it for the money, cause it's such a long way down, it's such a long way down, baby it's a long way Such a long way down Baby, it's a long way Baby, it's a long way down Baby, it's a long way Baby, it's a long way down Baby, it's a long way Baby, it's a long way down Some breaks. The Race to Win TV Guide's Grand Prix Hot Numbers contest is on. Each TV Guide has its own special hot number. Your number's picked. You could win one of 10 1988 sophisticated Renault medallions. One a week for 10 weeks. Plus over 150 other prizes every week. So fasten your seatbelts. TV Guide's Grand Prix Hot Numbers contest is going to drive you wild. Yo, ha! Tim Horton Donuts has a very special offer. Right now, when you buy three fresh-baked cinnamon buns, you get a fourth bun free. That's right, buy three regular cinnamon buns and the fourth one's free. Or buy three iced cinnamon buns and the fourth one's free. Or buy three pecan buns and the fourth one's free. Tim Horton's Cinnamon Buns. Now buy three and get one free. You owe yourself the best taste in the land. Take home a box today. 
raw power electrifying Stephen Wolf. Born to be the ultimate collection, Stephen Wolf. Rock, baby, rock on it's with 20 right. explosive hits. Stephen Wolf, the ultimate collection. Get it? It's hot. Stephen Wolf. On two LPs or double length cassette, new from Polytel, and it's in stores now. On ASN, you'll find news programming designed for you. At 7, Atlantic Pulse brings you 30 minutes of the day's news, sports, and weather. Finally, a news program that doesn't get home before you do. Through the evening, Atlantic Pulse updates keep you informed on breaking stories. Then at 11, the Atlantic Pulse news team brings it all together. An award-winning news program updated to the moment. Local, national, and one of the most comprehensive international news reports in Canada. A news program with a difference. My favorite way to write is... Uh is just sit down with my guitar when there's nobody else around, preferably uh, late at night, and uh, just to tinker with, uh, with uh, a couple of chords or uh, a little melody or whatever. And uh, usually I, f I find myself doing that when I'm thinking really heavy about something that I want to write. And it's just something that I'll, it, uh, it's just a process I think that's developed over the last five years, four or five years that uh, takes over for me. It's, uh, I don't know, sort of, sort of like going on automatic pilot. And uh, I'll sit there and I'll, uh, I'll be doing, I'll be going over a certain few little things and I'll hum, be humming the tune and the next thing you know, instead of humming the tune, I'm saying words and if the words make sense and come out. Most of the storylines from, uh, from all my pieces uh, come from either uh, at home with, with, with the kids or with Jennifer or um, if I'm reading something in the news, you know, reading a, reading a newspaper or watching television or radio or whatever, uh, there'll be something that uh, just, you know, comes out and slaps you right in the face, like, uh, you know, like Afghanistan or uh, El Salvador. And um, it just, it's one of these things that'll eat at you and eat at you and eat at you and eat at you until you do something about it, right? And I'm not much of a doer, so instead of doing something about it, I write about it, you know, which is, I guess that's my way of... Uh, in some cases, my way of retaliation. You're walking on thin ice. Ain't no gamble. When you use a load of dice, you know your enemies when you pass them in the street. Always talk. Justify my actions. I'll never give you the satisfaction. 
The very best of Willie Nelson. On the road again, all of me. Why not take all of me? My heroes have always been cowboys. For the first time on television, you can get 24 of Willie Nelson's original classic hits on two records or two cassette tapes. Riding on the city of New Orleans. Blue. Just an old this exciting heart. record treasury is not available in any store. Keeps George on my mind. If you've got the money, honey, I've got the time. There's nothing but blue skies from now on. And everything's beautiful in its own way. You are always on my mind. 24 original classic songs from the one and only Willie Nelson can be yours today. Order now. COD and credit card customers call 902-454-7820. That's 902-454-7820. To save COD charges, use your credit card or send $14.98 for album or cassette plus $3 shipping and handling to Willie Nelson, Box 1120, Armdale, Nova Scotia, B3L4M2. COD and credit card call 902-454-7820. Midnight's on ASN, Meet California's Capwell Family. I'm your wife, CC, and I'm not going to stand this kind of treatment much longer. Welcome to Santa Barbara, home of the unforgiving. Can't we just let bygones be bygones? Yeah, sure we can. I'm going to say bye, and they're going to be long gone. It's dynamic late-night drama. Well, I think it's best that you get out of my way while I do what I was paid to do. You're also paid to take orders. Santa Barbara. It's meaningless to you, but it means a lot to me. Well, if anything means a lot to you, you're right. It means nothing to me. Midnight's on ASN. I used to think that, um, that uh, I'd like to, uh, you know, have a band, go on the road, do all that stuff, like I think. But, uh, I, you know, I'm, uh, I'm 33 years old now, and uh, I don't want to be in a rock and roll band anymore. Uh, the, the one thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to uh, earn a good living doing my own material and having it produced the way I want it produced. Um, I used to look at theater as a, just as a means of uh, getting in, uh, uh, you know, having, having a steady income for a while and then being able to collect pogey after it's done. And uh, now I'm not so sure because uh, uh, I had a good season this year, theater-wise. And uh, I'd really like to try and do some more this year. I'd like to, I'd like to see just uh, I'd like to find out whether or not I'm an actor. What would you be willing to give up? 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 You can say you've got a right to freedom. You can say you've got a right to believe in. You can say you've got a right to provide for the ones you've got a right to love. Say what you want and really mean it but it's down to the wire and a stranger's hands reaching out to you do you act on emotion 
does it overcome you? Are you beguiled by the heat of the moment? Does self-preservation strike home? Do you let what you say you believe? Stand or fall on its own. I believe in freedom for everyone. I believe everyone's got a right to the things we think so matter-of-factly of freedom of speech freedom from persecution freedom of choice freedom from starvation Faces, faceless names Someone gotta make do with less If someone's gonna have more No explanations, universal implications Just as blinded by the status quo Are you uneasy calling another man brother? Is love over the ties of your tongue? How do you feel about the life of a love dependent on the heart of a man behind a gun? Now tell me, what would you be willing to give up for freedom of choice, freedom from persecution? What would you be willing to give up for freedom of speech, freedom from starvation? What would you be willing to give up for freedom in Nicaragua, freedom in Afghanistan, freedom in South Africa, freedom in El Salvador? Oh, oh, oh. Is it because you're so uneasy calling another man brother? His love over the ties of your tongue. How do you feel about the life of a love dependent? On the heart of a man behind a gun Now tell me What would you be willing to give up? 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 Atlantic Pulse News Update with Ron Cronstein. All right, how's it going? Very cold day. Nine o'clock on a Friday morning, and as usual, Tom McMillan is a busy man. He's on his way to a local television station. The federal environment minister is going to be interviewed for Canada AM. <laughs> The Canadian Environment Minister has come down hard on a major U.S. report which... Today, the subject is acid rain, but there's another issue that's on the mind of this island MP. Whether he's busy at work or at home spending time with his daughters, Tom McMillan, like many islanders, is thinking about the proposed fixed link with the mainland. I like living in Prince Edward Island, and I value the fact that it is an island. And I'm torn between uh, the arguments that are made that a fixed link would somehow detract from our status to on the one hand, and on the other, the very strong feeling I have is that we have to look to our fundamental problems, uh, basic obstacles to wealth creation and job development in the province, the foremost one of which is, is our transportation. 
And after a lot of thought, I, I've convinced myself, and I think it's true, that, that you can live in a mind, and you can cherish the quality of life that's peculiar to P.I., and still have uh, progress, and still undertake measures that make it possible for people to stay here and live here and, and be competitive with the rest of the world. I don't see any conflict. Now Dave's got to go to work. Can't go to work. Do I get kids? It's common sense. It's a matter of pragmatism. It's a matter of keeping up with the times, being part of the rest of the world, being competitive. And I think uh, staying on the road, making it possible for our young people to stay here and uh, earn their livelihood and raise families, remain islanders rather than having to go to, to Toronto or, or out west because of the economic obstacles we face. I can't agree with uh, any more with, uh, with this whole business that it's, that, uh, you know, build a bridge and all the problems are going to be solved. I mean, that's, uh, you're kidding yourself, you think that. Other islanders see the matter differently. Paul Broadbent is a Charlottetown actor and songwriter. He's convinced a link would be bad news. And he feels so passionate about the issue that he's written a song. You rave on about the outside tree and the weight of the ferry line. But there's no guarantee we don't become another drive through Another drive through drive through paradise. Islanders have been told that a fixed link will increase tourism, but Broadbent says they won't be the kind of tourists the island wants. A lot of those people that are going to come over, that would normally come over here and say, all right, we got to take a day to get across, we'll go over there, we'll book our hotel, the next day we'll see the place, uh, we'll go out that night and then we'll leave the next day. Those people who would normally do that and spend two nights and two days here are going to zip across here early in the morning, drive through the island and see what they want to see, and take off in the evening. And probably, uh, you know, go shopping in Betty Rubens, you know. <laughs> who knows? No, 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 no. Broadbent says islands are in his blood. He was born in Newfoundland and has lived on PEI for 15 years. He married an island woman. He's raising his children here, and he intends to remain on the island until he dies. Like many islanders, Broadbent has been thinking about that indefinable something called the island way. A lot of people are dubious that such a thing exists. But to Paul Broadbent, it's very real. He thinks a fixed link and drive-through tourism will destroy the quality of island life. I mean, basically, it comes down to we're a pastoral province. We're not. Uh, I can. I've noticed over the past uh, seven or eight years, the number of uh, the, the number of fast food joints has increased. The number of billboards has increased. Uh, this thing, you know, uh, this whole um, try and entertain people, you know, it's like people come here, most people I think that come here from a great distance that aren't familiar with Prince Edward Island come here because they want to get away from it all. And we're trying to bring it all here. And what's the point? You know, that, that, is, that is the drawing card, you know, that's the drawing card for this province, is the fact that you can come here, you can go to a nice beach, and you don't have to worry about some guy in a little white suit walking down with a tray yelling, hot dogs, hot dogs, you know. It, there's none of that here, and let's not have it here, please. Too late.